Salutations my fellow operators, in this video I will review a relatively new game called Operator. I will put a link to the game in the description so you can go get it yourself. Before the video begins, don't forget to check out my friend Cobra Striker. he makes similar content as me, and if you love Leo gaming content, you'll love his channel. In this video, I will cover price, maps, gameplay, performance, audio, and of course my final thoughts. Now let's begin! You can get Operator for $19.99 on Steam. According to SteamDB, it's been for sale as low as 25% off or $14.99. And even though Operator is in early access, it is a very feature rich game and I genuinely would recommend you support the developer by purchasing this game. However, the game is not perfect and I will mention why throughout the video. There are 10 maps, 9 of which are actually playable. The maps are Clean House, A Violence of Action, Dark Waters, Sensitive Intelligence, Thunderfall, Forever War, Shooting Range, Screenshot Map, AI Arena, and dev only map. All footage of the maps were taken in the afternoon, 1200 to 1300. Clean House takes place in a residential neighborhood where you are tasked with taking out American Al Qaeda cell members who conducted a raid inside the house of an American SOCOM general who is believed to be responsible for a drone bombing of a village in eastern Syria which eliminated a couple of very high ranking AQ officers. This map is a great map for solo players and makes a good warm up map for you and your friends, if you have any of course. Violence of Action takes place in Ukraine where you are sent in to disrupt GRU Spetsnaz forces who have been strategically using BTR-82As to weaken Ukrainian defenses. This is a larger map that I highly recommend you have friends join you if you want to cover ground quicker. The mission has you heading to a village where the Spetsnaz forces seem to be operating from. You must take out the Spetsnaz operators and also ambush and disable the BTR. Dark Waters is simply a generic boat mission where you as an operator are in the middle of the ocean. You are deployed to the back of the boat which appears to be either a yacht or a fishing vessel of some sort. You must clear through the whole boat and kill every single enemy. Good thing is, this is simply a fun little mission, kind of like an appetizer for the game to get your bloodlust started. Sensitive Intelligence takes place in Kiev. You are informed about a small allied convoy carrying sensitive intelligence on board an encrypted device that was ambushed by Russian special operators. This apparently resulted in everyone in the said convoy to be KIA. Your job is to go to a complex of two buildings 90 kilometers northeast of Kiev to recover the device by any means necessary. This of course means that you should lock and load because the enemies will be expecting you. I highly, I highly recommend you bring friends along in this mission because it is larger and there are plenty of corners to check. Thunderfall has you infiltrating a Georgian terrorist compound. The agency has apparently given your superior some crucial intelligence that included some coordinates related to a terrorist organization responsible for apparently shooting down an American airliner over the country of Georgia. After digging through intel, an unmanned recon operation led you to infiltrate a terrorist training compound with multiple targets. Your superiors have deemed this location high priority, thus you must go and collect intelligence. This is one of my favorite maps in the game so far. Forever War is a generic map that takes place in Afghanistan. It's very big and holds potential for being a decent map. At least one thing I'd like to see with a big map like this is the ability to deploy an ATV or other small vehicle for quicker movement. It would also be helpful if the level had a proper description of what the player is doing there in the first place. Shooting Range is a map where you can try out different loadouts in the game. This map can be used to roleplay training with friends. This map has a temporary map until the shooting range in the pre-mission lobby is of course available. Screenshot Map is a map where you can take screenshots. There is even a section that has kind of a green screen box. This map could be used 
by people like me to make YouTube video thumbnails. AI Arena is for the sick freaks that like watching people die for fun. I see you. I think AI Arena is stupid. I'd rather call it my little playpen. Dev only map is completely unplayable in game. This is used for active development, however, the map can be used in the game engine which I am pretty sure is Unity. Operator has impressively deep gameplay for an indie tactical shooter. I will start with the most important aspect of any FPS game, the guns. There are a total of 24 guns in the game so far and several gadgets. I won't name each weapon as it would be very time consuming and there are multiple configurations of all 24 guns in the game. This leads me to one of my favorite parts of the guns which is the gun building mechanics. The gun building mechanics are arguably better than ground branch in my honest opinion. For example, there are 12 pre-made configurations for the AR-15 just to show off how diverse the guns can be. You can even almost completely take apart each gun in this game. This is simply not possible in Ground Branch. Now the guns would be no fun in this game if they didn't look or handle well while using them. The gunplay and animations are arguably the best of any FPS game I have played to this day. There are key bindings for making sure the round has been chambered and fixing weapon jams. The game also features a complex injury system for both the player and enemy AI. The injury system is separated in seven sections, head, left arm, chest, stomach, right arm, left leg, and right leg. Whenever you get shot in the game, you can press H by default to open a radial healing menu. This menu allows you to apply morphine and bandages to each of the seven sections where you are injured. You must act fast because you will bleed out which is not good. Many tactical shooters have the feature where you can interact with doors. What makes this game special in my opinion is how you open doors. Most games would have a key binding that makes the door play an animation of opening or closing the door like it's magic. In operator you have to go to the door, put your hand on the handle, and move your character forward or backwards. Of course, like many tactical shooters, you can use breaching methods like kicking the door open as well. Of course, there is more to the gameplay than previously mentioned, but I don't want to spoil the fun for you. The minimum and maximum system requirements for operators seem fair. The minimum system requirements consist of an i5-8400 CPU, 16GB of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 or AMD RX 6500 XT GPU with FSR2 support. The recommended system requirements consist of an i7-10700K CPU, 32GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA RTX 2070 GPU. Both requirements, however, recommend at least 25 gigabytes of available space and both recommend the use of an SSD for the game. I am currently running an Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop equipped with NVIDIA RTX 4050 graphics, i5 12500H processor, and 16 gigabytes of RAM running in dual channel. Personally, the game runs poorly after the last graphics update, however, I play at low graphics settings so that I get good frame rates when it comes to performance. I will put hardware recommendations in the description of this video if you don't know what hardware to get. The weapon sounds are loud and crisp, reload sound effects sound crisp, and overall the game sounds pretty nice. However, I would highly recommend you lower the volume depending on your sound system. With everything mentioned in this video, I would like to mention an overview of the pros and cons of this game. The pros are amazing gunplay, decent map selection, intuitive health system, and unmatched weapon customization. The cons are poor performance, loud audio, and of course lack of optimizations. Now this game is still in early access and many things covered in this video are possibly subject to change and I could not include everything. Do I recommend this game? Well, the short answer is yes. However, 
The long answer is that tactical shooters are a very niche genre of video games. I honestly believe that if you are unsure whether or not this game sounds right for you, you should look up more videos about this game and read the reviews on Steam before purchasing. In this video I reviewed a relatively new game called Operator. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It would help me make better videos. I will put a link to the game in the description so you can get it yourself. Also, please don't forget to check out my friend Cobra Striker. He makes pretty cool videos. Thank you.